Hello, my name is Sean Bianco from 3CX. This training consists of a series of video tutorials which will take you through 3CX phone systems and user features. In this nugget, we shall be discussing how to configure my phone settings. These video tutorials will aid in your preparation for the 3CX certification test. The settings page comprises of three tabs, the extension details tab, the forwarding routes tab and the preferences tab. From the extension details tab, you can configure your extension's details. The forwarding rules allow you to manage how calls are routed when you cannot take calls. And you can configure my phone's behavior from the preferences tab. Let's take a better look at the configuration settings that you can configure in each tab. From the extension details tab, you can configure the user settings associated with your extension from the user information section. From here, you can change your name, email address, SIP ID which is generally the same as your extension number, the outbound caller ID and your mobile number. You can configure your voicemail options from the voicemail configuration section. You can configure the PBX to start playing the caller ID of the person who left the message or play the time the message was received. You can also define if you want to receive your voicemail by email. From this section, you can also reset your voicemail pin number. Remember that this is also used to log into my phone. From the office hours section, you can configure the times and the days of the week when you are expected to be in the office. You can decide to use the company's global office hours or to configure your custom office hours. This allows the PBX to automatically set the status of your extension to out of office. The actions section allows you to switch the status of your extension and your presence within queues automatically when you are not in the office. Additionally, you can configure the PBX to automatically switch your status to away during configurable time periods. You can use this feature to set your extension to away during the break, for example. The forwarding rules allow you to define how the PBX should treat calls to your extension when you are not available. This can occur when the status of your extension is set to available, but you are not available to take the call, resulting in no answer, or your extension is busy on another call. Forwarding rules are also used to route calls made to your extension when the status of your extension is set to away or out of office. The options available for all these scenarios are nearly the same. You can select to send calls to your voicemail, send call to your mobile number, send calls to another extension, send calls to an external number or Skype ID, or disconnect call. Tick the rebound checkbox to announce to the destination that a call is coming in from a particular number to give the destination the option to accept the call or send it to the extension's voice mailbox. If your phone is busy or unregistered, you have the same options as previously described. In this case, you also have the option to take a second call when you are already busy on a call. Note that your phone needs to be able to support more than one call at a time. Note also that you can define different options based on whether the received call is internal or external. 3CX has two additional statuses. The Available To status call forwarding is identical to the Available status, and the Out of Office To status call forwarding is identical to the Out of Office status. These additional statuses can be used when you need to use the same status with different options. In addition to forwarding rules, exceptions allow you to configure how calls from specific callers should be handled independent of the global settings. You can also configure up to 15 exceptions per extension. For example, you could configure a rule so that a call of an important customer will always be forwarded to your mobile. Click Add Rule, enter the exact caller ID of the person in question, followed by specifying whether this rule will be applied during or outside office hours, or even to specific hours. Specify to where the call should be forwarded and click OK. From the Preferences tab, you can install the Desktop Components. This was explained in the Desktop Components nugget. From the notification section, you can configure features such as Bring to Front on Incoming Call, which will cause 3CX My Phone to launch and display information regarding the incoming call, Notify on Incoming Calls, in which a pop-up appears in the occurrence of an incoming call, Notify External Program on Incoming Call, where for example an external program will pop up a customer record. From the Display section, you can configure My Phone to show extensions sorted by name. The Dining subsection allows you to configure what happens when you trigger a call from 3CX My Phone. You can decide to have your PBX call your desk phone. Additionally, you can specify to use Intercom if your phone supports it. In this case, you do not need to pick up your phone's handset in order to initiate the call. You can also decide to launch 3CX Phone. 
Alternatively, you can decide to trigger the call on your desk phone using the phone's HTTP CTI interface. Your phone will need to support this. Additionally, you can configure a hotkey to trigger an outbound call. When you enable this feature, you can select a number and press the hotkey to trigger a call to the number selected. From the miscellaneous section, you can configure whether you want 3CX MyPhone to start with Windows at startup. In addition, you can configure MyPhone to automatically set your status after a defined period of inactivity. Furthermore, you can specify to where calls parked from MyPhone should be parked. You can choose to park these in the shared parking spaces or in specific parking orbits. Using the increment parking orbit feature, you can configure that calls are automatically parked in the next available parking orbit. If you are an agent in a call queue, you can configure MyPhone to play a sound when the SLA is breached. From the chat section, you can disable chat for your extension and block specific extensions from being able to chat with you. You can also select to play a sound for new chat messages. From the prefix section, you can create your personal outbound rules. Using the function buttons, you can 1. Create outbound rules, 2. Edit outbound rules and 3. Delete outbound rules. These rules allow you to manipulate numbers before they are dialed by the PBX. This leads us to the conclusion of this course. I hope you found the information provided informative. You can find more training material at the link provided. Thanks for watching.